great opening batter and I'm here to take you through uh, one of my own net sessions. Oh yeah! So I just want to try and be relaxed as I can here, not thinking too much. Bit of a tricky deck. It's not the nicest surface to play on at the moment. A bit crumbly, so I've got to try and like, forget about that and accept it because it's probably not the best, but it's good practice. You do play that early in your interview. Yep, so probably limit myself to yeah, that, the, probably the wider cover drive, probably square and sort of waiting on it, not trying to go too hard at mid off. I like hitting early there um, and probably then, yeah, then waiting for them to come straight as well. I think that that's what I limit myself to normally, yeah. Yeah, so that's, square is definitely a strength, but I just find, I just find with the ball moving, it's it's very hard to sort of hit hit down the line a lot because yeah, and I find if I if I wait that fraction longer, allow the ball to move, um, I can sort of go with it there. Oi, bold skulls. Yeah, I've tried to sort of come a little bit further than middle. Probably not off. I don't really know where I was there, but. Yeah, I've sort of started to back myself a lot more with the straighter ball. Um, back myself to hit it. And if, I, if I'm staying still, um, that's helped me to just start using, using the pace more and hit, hit, um, pick them off through the leg side more often. Nah, that's what I've had to get sort of better at accepting. I think it's just going to be tough work in the nets. With that, what are you focusing on? What are you trying to get out of the net session? Yeah, so, but I think that's, yeah, I think what's changed my mindset and game altogether is sort of, Going to the nets and just trying to hit the ball as play the ball as late as possible. Um, I found that I used to try and almost hit a shot of ball and just get more and more frustrated um, the more I didn't hit them perfectly. So I'm trying to walk out of the nets feeling good uh, in defence and just as if I'm making the right decision going forward or back, then I'm generally pretty happy. I'm not really I'm never trying to hit the ball to be honest, like too hard in the nets. No, well that, that's just that's just stopped on me. Um, did it seem in a bit? So, there's, yeah, I don't think anyone in the world's gonna time that one well. <laughs> oh, <bold. laughs> Look how much I can do. That did nip, didn't it? <laughs> All right, makes you feel a bit better. So there, just trying to trying to move late and let let it come as much as I can. Good there, good step into the ball, head forward. Good. 
again, just try not to overhit middle of the bat on the ball. Be happy with that. Good balance there as well. Just trying to see it as stay still as long as I can. That swung. <laughs> oh, how am I going? I just missed a straight one there. I think the difference there is I got my head more into that covered any more any movement a lot lot better there so What do you reckon? I reckon I went a bit there. Maybe it's got to lose the end, I reckon you lift the end, I reckon you're playing the line. Yeah. I feel like I'm covering it, but then it's just late. Yeah. Yeah. And it's about having realistic expectations of what you want to get out of it. Yep. You've been bold once, you've probably got out LV as well, and you maybe there you've got away with it, but inside there's only pad like. You could focus on that and walk out here feeling crap. Mm. But you've got in behind it beautifully, you've driven a few nicely, you've clipped nicely. So it's up to each individual to understand what they're trying to get out of it. And on tricky decks like this, yep. you're not going to hit every ball well. Yeah. And I, yeah, I think, yeah, I used to really get shitty at that. And now I actually almost like laugh with the bowler when it does something ridiculous. Like you just sort of laugh, laugh it off, or you just say, well bowled, or. And yeah. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I think it's been the biggest difference. Get head forward here, I reckon. And just trying to be soft with it. Anytime I've gone hard at the ball here, I've shanked it, so not much point. Eey. Fully, that helps. Um. I think that one, that came, that came on a bit better. It didn't stop, but I sort of felt like I was in a really good position. So then I didn't really, didn't force it either though. So I just, it was just about letting it come right into my zone. Again, it's, it's pretty square where I like to score, so. Oi, missed that again. I think my head is on a better line then, as well. Can get caught up going just across off a bit, bit too early. It's a bit better. Yeah, again, just try to yeah, weigh it as much as I could, but it's tough to time that one. When you, when you stand, you set it up, you press it in the first, you 
Yeah. What are you really focusing on? What are you, where are you looking for the ball? Where are you looking for the ball? Yeah, uh, well, in my stance and stuff, I'm I'd be much more relaxed and just about keeping keeping as still as I can. Um, trusting that I'll react, but yeah, again, it's um, a lot of a lot of bowlers try to come in back into a lefty, so I'm really really waiting on that to, for them to overcorrect and come come straight and trying to trying to go through that mid wicket gap. Um, again, not trying to drive too much down the ground and go too hard at it because that brings them into the game a bit more. But and then. Yeah, when they sort of search for one and over pitch, um, just trying to wait, wait on it and hit it, hit it through cover. But probably not looking to pull too much early either. I think that's a confidence one for me when I start getting used to the bowling. That's when I'll start really get my confidence up and look for that a bit more. But um, trying to be, yeah, keep it pretty simple, leaving, leaving it on a good length. And, and if someone bowls you four good balls in a row, you're happy to. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, on the weekend, was, I was on five for about 50 rocks, I reckon. Like, big, like, long, tough start. They bowled really well. Um, it was on a slow deck, so kind of kind of accepted it early. We lost a couple of other wickets as well, so um, I just thought if I'm trying to bat for a few hours, that, that'll sort of solve solve a lot of the problems for our team and, and build, build a, manage to build a partnership in the middle session. We didn't lose a wicket, so... Um, yeah, it's kind of gotten better at sort of putting the ego away and not trying to, not thinking boundary as much um, and picking off what comes, yeah. It's good length there, so straight away you can leave that. Stroke it through there, not not force. Maybe one. Uh, well that was that's probably where my game's probably gone gotten better is just defending really really late um, trying to trying to sort of angle the bat almost horizontal to the ground and letting it come that much just to allow for any movement and try not to as soon as I get to there I'm a, a big nicker so if I manage to hold hold it in and sort of keep my back elbow in um, tucked in um, that, that always goes well too, but yeah, there's not really rocket science to this. Every batter's looking to do similar stuff, but um, just trying to give myself a chance for longer periods. That's been the main main difference. I think having confidence around your defence is important. Yeah. If you don't have belief and confidence in your defence, you often go after the wrong ball. You've got yeah. an insecurity around your defence. So the fact that you probably really tighten up the defence, hitting a little bit later, yeah. allows you to let balls go and allows you to drive with a bit more security. Yeah, and and playing it later has allowed me to time time the, off the pads a lot more because I'm not I'm not trying to force it there and as soon as it, yeah just trying to get middle of the bat on that and that that's been a big big scoring area so but yeah that's about it really. Well there you go legends an insight into Reedy's game he's on top of his game at the moment coming on 300 in the last four games we've got the roller going on in the background so we're going to wrap it up hope you've enjoyed that you've got something out of it you can take. It. Game. Remember, everyone's different, but you've got to do, try things, and then do whatever's best for you. Cheers, ready? Cheers.